Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Seth from Just Seth PC here. Taking a look at the build that I did in the Fractal Design Define R5 that I reviewed yesterday, or the other day I should say. Um, just wanted to give you guys a little, a little quick rundown of it and what I did and what I had to do to, to make all of this fit. Um, I guess system specs right off the bat are it's a Ryzen 7 1700X. I currently have it overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz. I, th I don't remember the voltage right off the top of my head, but it's in a Asus Crosshair 6 Hero. Um, obviously, an NVIDIA reference design GTX 970 with a <clears throat> XSPC uh, Photon 270 leading into an Alpha Cool. 45 XT 420 mil radiator, which we will discuss that here in a little bit, and then a 750 watt semi modular Corsair power supply. Um, I and just the the standard stuff you have. of our nice two fractal design fans up front because you know we got to represent somewhere I do have the cable mod 5050 RGB UV LED strips as you can see Blink. Let's go with white so you guys can see it a little bit better ignore the color of the coolant because that was supposed to be yellow but it really 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 looks like pee and I'm not a fan of that at all so I will be changing this out eventually but you know gotta do with what you gotta do now okay technically speaking here I do have to disclose some information. Fractal does not Fractal Design does not officially support a 45 millimeter thick radiator for the top and 420 variant within the Define R5. I had to stuff it and it it was not a fun task trying to get this thing in there. But unfortunately, the 360 radiator that I ordered ended up damaged and it'll take like 10 to 15 days to get another one so I didn't feel like waiting but um, so yeah I had to I had to modify it a little bit I'm not gonna go into details of how I modified it all I know is or all you need to know is I modified it <laughs> um, kinda continuing on the review here now that I've actually been able to build in this you know, coming from a unbiased perspective, this is a fantastic case to build in. Has a lot of room, like it has the size of a mid tower, but it's it feels like a full size or a full tower. Um, coming from a Corsair 750D, yes, there's less room, but the cable management properties of this case really, really, really help. Like that that huge bump for the cable management down here was really nice and I praise Fractal Design for this but the the velcro straps on the back are the greatest invention ever since I don't know rubber case feet it, it it's so fantastic because I'm I'm pretty sure somebody's going to point it out but you can see my six pin down there is green but yet it comes out as yellow because I put uh, cable extensions on here and there's a lot of cables back in the back that take up a lot of room and the back panel was kind of a bear to put back on but moving on also I wanted to show this because you could see my cables wrapped around something Crosshair 6 Hero is supposed to have uh, and it's way back there 
as you can see there is a debug screen on there but you can't quite see it so to be able to read the debug screen I took this out and I can look back there actually you could see from this angle how much of the motherboard is actually covered by the radiator but the good thing is and I don't know why I didn't mention this in the in the initial review but if you notice the 360 and the 420 or not 360 and 420 120 and 140 they're off centered they're not they're not straight on in the middle like you have with the 750D or any other case they're pushed off to the side that's why you're able to put like monster thick uh, 120 millimeter variant radiators in this case and I am very sorry for moving you guys around so much I took you off the tripod um, but I mean th this is this is it and I and I have to say this is a fantastic case to build in um, and that the sound deadening on this is just absolutely I can't say sound deadening um, yeah, sound deadening is just absolutely amazing in this case. Um, whenever I was still purging the bubbles out of my uh, out of my res here, uh, couldn't even hear them as long as I had the the front door closed. But I do have to say this is going to be my daily driver case because I really, really love this case. Now I do kind of wish that I had the um, the fractal design defined S because brings up the other point as you can see I had to make some reservoir brackets so once again these are not factory as you can see had to had to play the game of make it work so I just put screws through and drilled a hole in a piece of aluminum so you could see everything but just want to do a quick close-up on everything my terrible cable management down there Wi-Fi module and this beautiful reference design graphics card by the way all these cables are hand sleeved I didn't buy them I actually made them myself it's a huge pain in the butt but and also yeah there's not a chance that you can see that I, I actually put time in to put the 8 pin in there but whatever and like I said, this amber slash beer colored coolant will be coming out of here out of here soon. Just have to order it. But I really don't think there's anything else to go over with this. Um, benchmarks and stuff, I'm really not going to worry about because it's, it's the same as my last video, which I never put up. But, uh, it stays relatively cool. Whenever I ran uh, Ida 64, I think for like four or five hours, I never went above 40C. So, I mean, it, it works really good. It's it's a huge radiator for cooling only the CPU. Um, but whenever Ryzen first came out, you know, I figured, hey, look, it's a new architecture and it's AMD, so I'm just gonna, you know, do my thing of go overkill with the coolant or with the cooling capabilities of it. But here, like I said, just my rundown of my experiences of building inside the Define R5. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on everything else. And if I can get this stupid cable to do what I want it to do, I'll quit moving you guys around so much. Hey, would you look at that? And, like I said, I am not using the thumb screws on the back of here. Because it's just that simple, but uh, the only the, the next thing that I would like to do is kind of do like uh, what Paul's hardware did, and you know cut out a window or cut a bigger window in the side of this. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind because if I pick up the Define S, then I'm not gonna have to worry about it, or I'll just do it to that one. I don't know yet. It's 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 such a toss up right now. I don't know what's gonna gonna be going on. But anyways. You know, this is my rundown, and once again, I do do apologize for all the shaky camera movements, and if the video looks like just absolute tar, let me know, because I'm new cameras, I'm playing around with settings and whatnot.
anyways, if you want to see my my next re review or my next video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, like, follow, comment, do all that other happy crap because uh, my next video is going to include a review of the Celsius S24. So, I will catch you guys in the next one.